are water filters worth it? Well, this is a dirty water filter after four months. This is a clean water filter after zero. So we have a choice. Our body will basically detoxify metals, chemicals in things like tap water. It will handle that for us. We have phase one, phase two detoxification. We have glutathione. We have antioxidants to help us out. However, I would rather get a little bit of assistance to ease some of the burden and strain being put on these pathways. And so this potentially is a justification for water filters that, yes, our liver will do phase one, phase two detoxification. Yes, antioxidants like glutathione will help detoxify metals found in, typically found in water. But filters like this will also help fluoride. It will also help things like, let me have a look, lead, chlorine, chloramines, sediment, cysts, pathogenic bacteria, glyphosate, arsenic, aluminium, iron, mercury, nickel, zinc, uh, progesterone, ibuprofen, um, different antibiotics that we can find in the water supply, and nitrates, all to a level of 97 to 99.9%, which is pretty cool. This is not like a uh, like a warning, like, oh no, if you drink tap water, you're gonna die. Like, nah, you, you, you'll be fine. Like, you'll be fine. Okay, that, that's, that's the reality. But in the world that we live in, where we live in this type of world, we're very stressed, uh, exercising frequently, nutrient deficiencies, environmental stresses, air pollution, uh, personal care and cleaning products that could have some chemicals in there. We get through out to our skin and we breathe in. Uh, maybe we heat plastics out of containers every day. Like this it represents the type of lifestyle that people usually live. So perhaps we could ease some of the extra burden being placed on some of these biochemical pathways by using something like a water filter. Because glutathione is used, it's really important. Okay, glutathione is this master antioxidant you may have heard of. Highly encourage you guys to look into it. It's not the purpose of this video to go into it now, but glutathione is an antioxidant that helps detoxify metals. It, it's, it's great. And, and when we have inflammation, when we're fighting acute infections, it's really useful. But by potentially, theoretically, using a water filter like this, now I can alleviate some of the strain being put on antioxidants, being put on certain pathways, something has to give, something has to compensate to prioritize the immediate survival of the organism. So this is not the be all and end all. It's just one chain link in an entire chain. And so if we improve one chain link, we could potentially improve other downstream and upstream consequences and pathways and our body may be operating at, let's say, a little bit less of a uh, overdrive. I'm using like metaphors and analogies instead of being real heady and sciencey here. Like the, the cup isn't as full. We're not burdening as many B vitamins, calcium, amino acids, which are all important for phase one, phase two liver detoxification. So if we don't burden them as much because we have things like water filters, because we have plants in our environment that clean our air, then potentially we could optimize our biological function a little bit better. Potentially we could feel a little bit better. Potentially we may not be as nutrient deficient and improve the general function and well-being of the organism, of the individual, of the hominid, of us. So I found this crazy and fascinating, but to visually see how dirty it looks, it's like, wow, that's a powerful message. Like our body will do this, absolutely no denying that. But I would rather my body do this, uh, I would rather the filter do this, than my body have to do more of it. Hope this is valuable. A little bit of food for thought or, or water for thought. And um, yeah, guys, I'll leave a link below. Actually, I'll tell you guys and I'll leave a link below to the... Uh, filter I use. It is Southern Cross Pottery, and I use the Gravity Water Purifier with their SCP Fluoride Plus Water Filter Candle. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm a big fan. If anybody's watching uh, from that company, um, I love what you guys do, and you have a lifelong uh, supporter in your products. I think you guys are doing a great job, and I hope this helps people, you know, think about the quality of their environment, stresses, and water quality, because if there's a couple things we need, water, food, air, over our lifetime, those are prob and sleep, these four things are probably the things we should think about optimizing and maximizing considering we need liters of it per day. 
it seems obvious to me that it's probably a good idea to think about the quality of your water, just like the quality of your food, just like the, uh, the, the type of bed you use and whether it's comfortable or not. All of these things compound over a lifetime. They do not add up. In fact, they compound. And so if we're going to spend our energy, time and money somewhere, it would probably be about considerations about these main four uh, entities or, or, or areas. And so maybe something to think about is a water filter or getting high quality bottled water instead of tap water. Hope it's helpful. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. Let me know what you guys think below, whether you use a water filter, whether you think all of this is overhyped. That's cool too. Let me know what you guys think. And if you see any, actually, if you see any research on this topic, because research on this type, this type of topic is hard to come by because high level longitudinal, you know, randomized controlled trials and filtered versus tap water is really unlikely to happen and, and very sparse. So we're just looking at observational stuff and mechanistic stuff. So if you guys have any research, please put it below because I'd love to see it and read into it. And um, of course, learn more on the topic because it is a growing area. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one.